Okay, guys, it is Far Harbor time. They have been waiting here for like weeks for me to come and help. What is she doing in the water? A lot of rats. Get out of here. I, I fell. What the fuck? I can't get out. I can't get out of the water. What are you doing? She's busy. Dude, the, the mission is glitched. You gotta be kidding me. The mission is glitched. She's in the water and won't move. Look. Uh, that's not good. Look, she's stuck. What the fuck? She teleported. Now what? Dude, this mission is all messed up. Look, she's glitching everywhere. The hell of a day to visit. I'm ready. Let's go. Stop glitching. Let's go. Fucking go. <laughs> she waited so long, the universe glitched around her. Holy shit. Gulp, huh? I'll go fishes. Legendary gulp this bitch. Oh, there's another one. Oh, shit. Down with the Mine's gulpers, over. baby. Something's coming. A second wave, anglers. <laughs> Woo! That's how it's done, baby. That knife away. Success that was some fight. in the defense. Not bad, Not bad Avery. At all. That was easy. Now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. <laughs> For your help when we needed it, you deserve this. Bottle caps? You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. People have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor is one of the only places left that's safe. Hmm. Yeah. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. What's uh, up, Mark? I'm How you doing? Cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The children of Adam, we fought them before. Forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. They worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee. Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. Wow, what a Adam's dick. That goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. Wow. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do? Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. 
There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Hmm. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're headed for Acadia, right? Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Okay. What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. Yeah. If someone needs to get to Acadia, of he's course. the only one that'll do it. But... People around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. DJ, uh, Andre the DJ says, Avery seems to have a good head on her shoulders. Sensible. There you go. And the hollow complaining about the difficulty, you can leave. Okay. Thanks for the info. <clears throat> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's What's up, Gabriel? Room, How are you? People like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. your loved ones with my fine hair Anyone else say thank you? Huh. The entirety the of this uh, DLC? Great. We got a lot of things to do. The Mariner. Oh, Jesus! Fucking walked right into me. You scared me. Now she's running. What the fuck's going on? Stop running! Mariner. The hole needs mending. You know, it just don't build itself. I need proper wood, steel, nails, the like. Nobody the whole took to a back. Together that stupid wall. Be sure. You want she wouldn't be standing at all you know how to get if it weren't for you. Caps. They call me the Mariner, shipwright, handyman, the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Why do they act like it's a ship? Besides, it's just a town, but they act like it's a ship. Why doesn't anyone help you? Each harborman is the captain of his own ship. Worked fine for generations on the homesteads. Your land, your rules. But when the island pushed them onto my dock, one by one, the ungrateful bastards expect me to look after my land, even though they're squatting on it like wretches. Okay. If it's that bad, why put up with it? I couldn't very well toss them back into the fog, could I? <laughs> bad luck, that. Surely their spirits would haunt me to my grave. And that's a fact. The town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. <laughs> but there is... I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be I gotta easy go find to them. come by. 450 caps if you can, though. All right. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Now get. Get gone. Time to get. Alright, who's this? These are the people optionally You're I can the help. Mainlander who just got here. <laughs> Better watch yourself, cause this island sees and hears everything you do. You ever think about cleaning the table here? I watched the island Fucking pigsty. tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood. And vengeance. Sounds interesting. I'd like to hear it. <laughs> I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy. Oh, what a Took shame. Too much from the island. The Classic story. Getting revenge the dwarves since. dug too deep. Killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. 
A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Okay, let's do it. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of <clears throat> vengeance. That would be the sad story of Freckle-Faced Petey. <laughs> Petey Fuck. was Freckle -faced the Petey? He was a good lad, never <clears throat> caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame that. All right. Of course, we're gonna kill the ghouls. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. That's it. Okay, we're in all these missions now for the island. Whoa, look at that. The bait shop. Is it safe to have their water, a mire lurk inside of their water? Why would you want to? That's weird. <laughs> anyway, the last plank. No, you should not give a lot of jet to Mama Murphy and then she overdoses and dies. It's a horrible thing to say and do. How could you even suggest it? Awful people, I swear to God. Everyone! Everyone! We're trying what? to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths! Open your damned ears! So the fogs are coming for us all. I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. On the house! Yeah! Time to party! Here's some Mitch! Mitch! Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free yeah? beer for ya! <laughs> Unlimited free beer! Thanks for the free drink. Look at you with all your mainland niceties. So, drink up. You stay here over long and the fog will claim you. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? <laughs> I'd like a drink. Plenty of selection. Maybe I should rent the room too so I have somewhere to stay. 454. I probably have like a bajillion of something down there, but I'll just sell these for now. Oh. Sure he has nothing I want. Oh, correct. Mitch, I rent the room Looking too. Might too sober by my estimation. I can fix that. I'd like to rent a room. It's up the stairs. Okay, we got a room. We can go to sleep. All right, now where's the guy I'm talking to? Right here. Is this Longfellow? Yep. Wait, what's this, Longfellow? Let me see what you have here. You've unlocked a point of interest map markers across the island. Oh, neat. Value keeping the old CPU shop. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Damn. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? The runaway's name is Kasumi. You, uh, know about her? Sounds like Cap mabry has been running her mouth again. She should know better than to stick her nose where it's not wanted. Maybe I heard of her. Maybe not. Oh, I won't say anything. Private. Everyone's got their price. How many caps is this going to run me? Keep your caps. If you're set on doing this, I'll take my pay in whiskey. The bartender, Mitch, sells it. 
Grab me a flask, and then we'll see about getting you to Acadia okay. alive. We're get the only whiskey. Good old whiskey. You look like you need an ice cold vim. I'd like a drink. Now that's what I like to hear. Ha! Yeah, I don't know. The stream chat is really dead right now. I don't know why. Earlier people were talking. Now all of a sudden it went dead when I started doing the, the DLC that you guys asked for. So I don't know what else to say. I don't know why. Which one is my room? This is my room? I, for one, won't go down unless I'm roaring drunk. At least I know we have a room to sleep in and recover, so that's good. Somebody else's room. I just walked right in. I don't know why they didn't close the door. That's weird. You want a bite? Either Mitch or I can <clears> take <throat> your order. You got my whiskey yet? Yes. I don't have it? I don't have it. I just that. bought whiskey. No skin off. Uh huh. I just bought the whiskey. What are you talking about? Booze for the belly or bung <clears> for the night? I'd like a drink. Music. What did I buy? I bought something that was wrong. I swear I bought whiskey. Did I not? What else do they want me to fucking buy? Dude. I bought the fucking whiskey. There's nothing else to buy. Except. Oh, I canceled it? Oh, I canceled it. Ah, uh, I see. Oh, what the heck? A kitty? I heard a kitty. A room. See Mitch. Oh, there's a kitty on the table. Oh, hello. It's the same cat model, same color and everything, though. They haven't improved it for the DLC. You got my whiskey yet? There you go. Ah, now you're talking. I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, rad X and the like. I'm a good. Real work can begin. All right, I'm not ready to do it yet. I need some time. I need to take care of a few things. Handle your necessities. I'll do the other off. missions first because I think this is the actual main story of Far Harbor. So if I'm going to do those other missions that we got, I should probably do those first, right? So let's take a look. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get the power tools. Let's see where these are. Far, far west. Now, we've already been to the day spa. So let's fast forward to the day spa, and then we'll do this, you know, while we're out there. Perfect. wonder if the uh, super mutants are going to be... Re oh, boy. I think we got our answer already. Gonna splatter your brain! Nope. <laughs> I got so good. Yo, that is so good. That is amazing. You shank the fucking suicider. Cannot fucking kill you. And then you get a mini nuke. That is amazingly good. All right. Well, I'm going to do that every time from now on. They're just so dumb, they don't detonate it. Andre the DJ says, Longfellow reminds me of Quint, the shark hunter from the movie Jaws. He does kind of look like that. I agree with you. Why did he attack the wall? <laughs> he attacked a post on the wall, you fucking idiot. Say goodnight. All right, Poisoner's Combat Chest Piece. I'll take a look and see if this is any good. It might actually be good. But I don't remember what my chest piece does. Anything up here? Probably not. Probably junk. A bunch of fish. Just straight up murdered everyone at like a trapper shack for no reason. But hey, they attacked me. It's not like I wanted to attack them. They came after me first. Pretty stupid. They don't know who they're messing with, man. And they get fucked up. 
There's no turning back. You fire at me, man. You're asking for death. This crazy build I got. Take a look at this chess piece. <clears throat> so my current chess piece is a lucky plus two. Uh, luck. 29-29-2. Whoa. 37-37 plus massive poison resistance. It's way better, but the luck is helping my build. So fuck it. The luck is better for me because I'm getting so many crits that I don't want to lose the ability to have that many critical hits. So, sucks. I did not grab a World Series bat. No, I do not know where that what that is. <clears throat> I had a spiked bat that was pretty good, but that was the only one I think I used in the playthrough. I had a frozen bat, but that one wasn't very good. <clears throat> I'm not sure where the World Series bat would be. In there. This it? Eagles Cove Tannery. Get thee to a tannery. <laughs> what the? Dude, I just came in. I'm, my ass is being bit. My ass is being bit by a legendary feral wolf. A harpoon gun. No thanks. Go. That's it. Watching a conduct. Oh wow, there's a lot of you in here. Oh, look at this. Safe right from the get-go. As soon as I walk in. Yes. <clears throat> and a technical document. At some point. Leather. I wonder what you do with leather. At some point, I gotta go back to the Brotherhood and trade in all the tech documents. See how much many, many caps I get for that. There's gonna be a lot of ghouls. Do, 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 do. Dun dun dun. You are dead. One stab. You're dead now. Cause you suck. Cool. Don't get up. Cool. Man, you suck, ghoul. Nothing up here? I guess not. I guess what I needed is down here. Gotta go further down. I'm going deeper underground. There's too much panic in this town. Future glowing ones are coming straight for my face. Shank him all up and put him right in his place. Ow! I'm going deeper underground. That is so ugly. Reduces damage from animal. Yeah, that's shitty. That's totally shitty. I'm dropping that right away. That's it. This is the special tool right here. Power tools. Yep. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going deeper underground. I think that's uh, Jamiroquai, that song. Man, anyone remember Jamiroquai? It was good. He was a good singer, man. He was a really good singer. I know. Yeah, Jamiroquai is great. I actually I had his album back in the day. I liked like the whole album. I thought all the songs were good. Oh shit, what happened? You, you alright? What the fuck? Us again. A shitty mic. You okay, dude? Hey there. Hold up. I've been casing those ghouls for weeks. Waiting for an opening. And you dive in and choppy chop, bang, bang, and the whole lot of them dead. Nah. You even know what you got right there? A premium set of Pelman's power tools. I remember commercials for Pelman's tools. Expensive stuff at top of the line. What the hell's a commercial? Uh, Wait, it don't matter. Oh, Mariner sent you, didn't she? Goddamn Mitch and his big mouth. No matter what she's offering, it's nothing. Serious builders would give an arm for them tools. I'll pay you 2,000 caps right here, right now. Wow. Deal? 
Why do you need the tools so much? I got my own special projects. For the caps I'm paying, that's all you need to know. Nope. I'll pass on the offer. I ain't hanging around forever. Walk away from this, and you'll regret it. Valentine liked that. I already agreed to give him to the Mariner, and it seems like the Mariner needs him more to defend the town. It's a better, it's a better thing. We don't know what he's going to use it on, so... Yeah, we'll help the Mariner. Anything else in here? A cap stash. Some rad away. Okay, rad stuff. And that's what the fucking ghoul! <laughs> a fog ghoul. Foggy ghoul. Uh, oh, oh, uh. Excuse me. Let's see, we got... Oh! Oh! Oh, what's for dinner? Uh, rigatoni pasta with chicken meatballs and a spicy marinara sauce. It's a good ma muta bene. They hit at the spot right. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm having for dinner. Apparently there's power armor at Far Harbor. I didn't even know. I already chose that first playthrough. Well, I don't know that, nor do I really care. I want to do what's right rather than what's profitable. All right? It's a story of my life, basically. So I'm not even kidding. Okay. You find my tools yet? Here you are. Here are your tools. A fair bit of luck running into you. Here's your reward. Well earned. And now to work on the hull. So she'll repair the town now. We did that. All right. Oh, uh, here we go. Eliminate the feral ghouls. Where would they be located? Ah, in this swamp. National Park Campground. All right, so let's go to Cliff's Edge Hotel and then head south. Dentronic says, I'm going to have air fried chicken breast with mashed potatoes and gravy. Hmm, that could be good. So let me ask you, Dentronix, your air fryer. When you use it, does it make a giant mess? Because my parents gifted us one years ago, and we made a few things like french fries and chicken and things in it, and every single time we used it, it was disgusting. It was like so dirty, and we had to scrub it out, and it became such a chore to do so that we just didn't want to use it anymore, and we never did. So now we just don't eat fried food at all. <laughs> we just don't have it at all, you know? Um, so I'm wondering like what you do. I mean, people have said, I guess there's liners you can buy for the thing that make it like not messy. Or there's better ones now that are bigger and they don't make a mess or something. <laughs> I hope a fly. I love that it pops up. Oh, someone should make use of it. What do you think you're doing? He's eating feces. Oh, he was eating feces. Oh man. He was literally eating shit out of the toilet. Oh, that's awful. And Tronic says, it's not a big mess. You only need a small amount of oil. Yes, it does require cleaning after you use it with warm water and a sponge and soap. It's a pretty quick clean. Yeah, see, ours was a sm very small one, and it has like four levels, and each one's like a basket tray. But the basket trays would be so covered in oil that we would then have to like, and we didn't use a lot of oil, but it would just like cook into it. And then we would have to put all that shit in the sink and scrub it. They had to take a cleaner and wipe out the inside of the air fryer. And we are just like, dude, this is too much fucking work. Every time we cook, we don't have to scrub out the entire thing for half an hour. That's why we stopped using it. <clears throat> Buy paper liners. They're cheap and effective. I may, maybe, maybe one day we'll give it another shot. Because maybe we just weren't we were approaching it the wrong way. Then Tronic says yours is a double-sided with a tray. So you got a big one. We have a really small one. You only need like a cap full of cooking oil on the bottom of the tray to keep things from sticking. A very small amount of oil required. Okay. You iron me, me? These missions were easy. Those feral ghouls come at you quick. Poor Petey learned that the hard way. All right, they're dead. I wiped out the feral ghouls at the campground. The hero of our saga returns triumphant. <laughs> I bet the island didn't see that coming. Music's too fucking it's loud. Only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. 
What's next? So, who else needs to be avenged? Well, I'm glad you asked. Do it all. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. I'm sorry. You must have been very fond of him. Everybody was. But that didn't matter to the island. Oh, no. He was cursed the moment he was born adult. He had a farm a little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life, working the land, and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster. Oh, really? Spit and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. I guess we'll kill it. That fog crawler is gonna pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit. Cool. Eliminate the fog crawler. Far to the north. Okay, we'll start at the day spot and we'll head north then. Cool. Mr. Game, Mr. Game Master just did a super chat and says, Visions of Mana coming in August. Are you interested? Well, we saw the footage of it, remember? We saw it together at one of those game events, and it actually looked pretty good. Um, like a modern interpretation of the Secret of Mana game style, which looked pretty entertaining and, and, and good gameplay. But <clears throat> is it true that it's coming out like the same fucking week as Black Myth, Black Myth Wukong? And then like right before another game too? I think there's like two other games coming out that same time. And it's like, why did they choose that fucking week? Why would you... You have the whole summer with nothing. All of July. All three weeks of August before then. And they're going to fucking release the game the same week as everything else. I just don't get that. I, again, what is with the timing of these games all coming out at once and you don't understand why people don't fucking play them? Right? So, am I interested? Yeah, I am. Here's their farm. Ain't much of a fucking farm. Look at this. Looks like it was a store or something. Why else would they have shelves like that? Alright, well, fuck it. There's nothing here. Let's go kill this thing. Come here, you freak. Come here, you fucking freak. can't block. It hits me anyway. Wow. Uh, I can't block this thing, so I have to use drugs to buff. This thing's crazy. First of all, I'll use a whiskey. Even attack it, it keeps hitting me. Oh, I chopped its arm off. There we go. I think it was annoying. It was annoying because it kept interrupting me. Big Shooter loves the Fallout streams. Glad to hear that. Am I playing Nuka World? I, I don't see why I wouldn't. If you guys want the DLCs, I'm down for the DLCs. I own them from nine years ago, so I might as well play through them, right? <sighs> Hard times. Old Longfellow knows what he's about. Poor old Grandpa George. Torn apart by a fog crawler. The island hasn't got a shred of decency. Grandpa George can rest in peace. The fog crawler is dead. Wonderful. That's another chapter successfully concluded. 
You truly are the heroic Avenger I hoped you were. With that fog crawler gone, we can send some folks up there to get the place ready for you. That's right. The farm <clears throat> is yours. What do I want that farm Your for? A little piece of the island. <laughs> what do I want It'll that thing? Work to get it up and running again, but you'll have help. And here's another 200 caps in gratitude for your service to the great Dalton lineage. All right, what's next? Who else needs to be avenged? I was just about to explain. Now, I don't have to tell you that the bonds of blood and family are strong. As strong as any a person can know. But if you ask me, the strongest among them is the bond that exists between two married people. That's why the last part of this tale is the hardest one for me to tell. All right. Believe me, I know exactly how you feel. If that's true, then I'm sorry to hear it. Perhaps we'll confront our pain together. My late husband, Daniel, was the best fisherman this island ever saw. He and his crew had a favorite fishing spot out by Brooks Head Lighthouse. One day, a day I'll never forget, I see Danny's boat pulling up with his crewmen all shouting and carrying on. Turns out some trappers moved into the lighthouse. No doubt because the island told them to. <laughs> They're all crazier than a bag of mole rats. Their leader was having a little target practice. <clears throat> Shot Danny right between the eyes. Killed him, just like that. You go and get that son of a bitch. You make him pay for doing the island's bidding. So I was right. Mr. Game Master says, one day after uh, Visions of Mana comes out, Star Wars Outlaws comes out, and then just like a few days before, Black with, Back with Wukong comes out. And it's like, why? Literally all of July, there's like nothing. The first three weeks of August, there's nothing. Why within one week would three major games come out back to back? Stupidity. These fucking companies are dumb as shit. Stop releasing your games over each other and cannibalizing each other. That is moronic. Okay. I'll make that trapper pay. All right, then. <laughs> Remember, trappers may be half crazy from the fog, but they still know how to use a gun. Fuck them. Let's kick their ass right now. Eliminate the trapper leader. Good. Let's do it. Holy shit, this is far. Oh, man. <laughs> this is the opposite end of the island. Yo, I gotta walk that whole way. God damn. Well, uh... This might take a while. Yeah. I guess what we'll do... Let, I guess we have to walk across the whole island. Right? Yeah. We totally have to. All right, let's save. And I guess we're going for an insanely long walk across the island. A tour of Far Harbor, right? Damn. What is my favorite hamburger helper flavor? You ain't well, I haven't had hamburger you helper, to be clear, since I was like a teenager, probably. Uh, when we used to have it, my mom would make it. Um, the cheeseburger one. Or the Italian one, where it kind of had those little noodles that simulated lasagna. I remember eating those two the most. I think we might have had the stroganoff flavor a few times too, but it was usually those two I just mentioned. So, Beaver Creek Lanes. Oh, is this a bowling alley? Cool. Is there a reason to go in there? One stab. Cool Slayer Leather Right Leg. Isn't my right leg the one that brings me the luck? Let's see. Yeah, I'm not replacing the luck. I'm keeping the luck, so. See, like, almost every stab now is a crit. I guess we'll check it out. I went on a Hamburger Helper rant a few years back. Well, Hamburger Helper is incredibly bad for you. It's incredibly salty and unhealthy. We didn't eat it all the time. It was only if, you know, my parents knew there was going to be a day when... There wasn't going to be a lot of time to cook. It's something easy you can do. You throw it all together in a, in, a, in a pan and fry it up, right? But it's not good for you at all. <clears throat> okay. What's that? What's in the bowling alley? 
There's different drinks in here. What the fuck is behind me? Shit. There's new drinks in here. Look at this. A Vim Refresh and a Vim? So the DLC has different soda. Huh. And I still don't need it. Of course, we have to have a fucking radio playing music in here. It's gonna get me in trouble. All right. Oh, it's a stupid jukebox. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I leveled up again. Good God. So let's see, what do we want to do? No radiation from eating or drinking. The thing is, I'm not going to really eat or drink anymore, so I don't really need that anymore. Uh, Let's see. We could do, while standing still, you may automatically disarm enemies that try to hit you. That would be pretty good. Just standing still, they, they miss, right? We could do the blacksmith. Dude, we could keep luck increasing. It used to be insane. Like, every hit will be a, a fucking luck hit at this point, right? I mean, do I really need to, to, to bank three and four criticals? No, I don't, right? Any kill in Vats has a 50% chance to restore all of your action points. That's actually pretty good. Getting a kill in Vats and getting all your action points back. Wow, this is really good. Four leaf clover. So you know what? Yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go luck up, and then as I hit levels, I'm gonna start putting it into four leaf clover. I think that's pretty darn good. Right now, luck is is the big thing for me. Having higher luck is gonna having higher luck is what I need for my build. So I keep getting crit after crit after crit. Dark Souls Master, how are you? Good afternoon to you. How's it going? Don't need fusion cores. Nope. No, indeed, I don't. Take the rounds. Take the pre-war money. Broken pinball machines. Darn, you can't see what they are. This is like an arcade game. Yeah. This is like the arcade portion of the bowling alley right here. Bubble gum. See, I don't need food anymore. I'm good. I'm going to auto heal. All I need is the big uh, heal stuff. Impacts and, and pure water. Or dirty water that I can turn into pure water, right? There's a unique twist to a weapon here, but not something I would use. Oh, really? What is it? Like a, uh, Doors chained up like a bowling there. ball gun or something? That might be neat. How do I get back here? Oh shit. I don't think we're alone now. I think there's a ghoul coming round. I don't think we're alone now. See, if I can get a crit every hit, that's gonna be insane. We go up and down. Well, let's go up first. Oh, I, I definitely played pinball machines. I used to go to an arcade that had uh, a, pin, a, a couple of pinball machines. One was Circus Voltaire. And one was, um... Oh, what was the other one? I know they kept Circus Voltaire. Like, always they had that one. And then they had other ones I think they would rotate out. With other arcades around the area. Acid. That's new. Acid. Modified the striker. Bingo. It's a fat man that shoots bowling balls. Look at this. A bowling ball launcher. Weighs 30 effing pounds. 30 pounds. Shit. That's it. I'm 
and try it. Let's find a ghoul and use it, see what happens. This is it. Cripples limbs, like high chance to cripple limbs. Aha. There we go. But anyway, yeah, like, so I did play some pinball back in the day. I also went to other arcades, obviously for Street Fighter reasons, and I played various different pinball games over the years. All right, Foggy Ghoul. I have zero chance to hit. All right, Foggy Ghoul. Oh, I didn't even really get to see it. I think, is the advantage here you can pick the ammo up and use it again? Oh, this has a hell of a reload sequence. Yes, you can pick the ammo up and just keep using it. That's awesome. Right in the chest. Damn, he didn't die, though. <laughs> it was so slow. It is so slow. You have to go get the balls afterward. That's funny, man. Slow but effective. Come back here. Critical hit. Damn, did the bowling ball go into the alley? It did, didn't it? I have to go get it. There it goes. You have to follow the balls. Shit. Badoosh! It's a neat concept. It's just really goddamn slow. And you only have four balls, so if you start to lose the balls, basically it, it loses its effectiveness, obviously, right? All right, cool. Well, we got a unique weapon I'm probably never going to use. It's funny looking, though. Nice. When it opens, they should have bought a better lock, huh? Okay. Cool to have. Good to find the unique, the unique weapon, right? Not found anywhere else, so worth finding. Thanks for that heads up. Cool, cool. Let's continue on our insanely long trek across the island. Far Harbor. Mod in more ammo. What does that mean? What is this? Is this one of the things? The torches, but it doesn't work? I bet, how much you want to bet we have to repair this later? Probably. <clears throat> Do I like bowling? Well, when I was a kid, I used to go duck pin bowling uh, a bit with my parents and my friends, and I liked that. Duck pin is the one that has the very small balls so that kids, it's easier for kids to do, but it's actually fun for adults because you can throw them really fast because they're small. You get like, this loud cracking noise when you get strikes and stuff. It's pretty neat. Um, I did go regular bowling with my friends a few times, had some beers and snacks and food, and I found that very fun, but, uh, it wasn't a regular thing. Maybe every once in a while I would do it. Mushroom. The light mushroom. Ooh. Ooh. There, the blight mushrooms grow, uh, glow, apparently. Look at that. What is this? We got a building here. What is it? A silo? What is this? I don't know what the hell this is. An observatory? A oh, this is Acadia? Oh, this is for the story. Oh, I definitely don't want to do this yet. This is for the story later, so let's just continue past it. Yeah, let's continue past I had no idea this was Acadia. So it is a... It's like a... What do you call this? A, like a... Observatory, right? Looking up at the, at the stars. That's what Acadia actually is. But we won't do this yet. So. Nice view, right? How's the Fallout stream? Having a good time? Relaxing? Enjoying? This is the Far Harbor DLC. So this is one of the two major story expansions for the game. And it introduces a lot of new enemy types. Some interesting story. Some unique weapons. It's pretty well done. 
I like I liked it when I played it, you know, back in the day. I'm sure I'm gonna like it this time around too. Um and I'm having a good time relaxing with everyone. So thanks to everyone here chilling with me. Allure weed. That's not a lure weed, that's a legendary glowing angler. I'm about to die. This thing does insane. What the fuck happened to my screen? My screen is glitched. I'm sure it's not supposed to look like this. Stabby, stabby. Acrobat's leather left leg. Reduce fall damage by 50%. Who the hell cares about that? Wow, you want to talk about a worthless feature? That's one of the most worthless I've ever heard. How often are you taking fall damage in this game? Like, never. The old pond house. Starting to invade your home. Alright, not really. Another legendary, huh? Zoop. Damn! Look, he fell! Ha 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 Frozen solid. Frozen like an ice cube. Wow. That was awesome. Oh shit, Nick. Almost hit Nick. Good night. That legendary got fucked. He got solid frozen. That's good shit. I don't want anything he has, though. That little junk. Anything in this house at all? Fucking meat hook. What the fuck do I want that for? Meat hook? Like, dirty water, I can craft some purified water later, I guess. But. Sure doesn't look like there's much in this house. Bunch of junk. Uh, safe. Anything in it? Shit. Yes. I'm looting, but not. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm being way more skeptical about what I want to grab now because a lot of this stuff is just kind of like not useful and weighs me down. So I like the food. I don't need the food items anymore. I needed them for the earlier parts of the playthrough, but now that I have the auto health re uh, regeneration, the the food's completely worthless. I'm not going to waste time on that anymore. Or wait anymore on that. Okay. Okay. Keep going. So I don't know why you need to follow the lights. I guess it, maybe you're safe if you follow them. But as you can see, I didn't really run into anything too crazy. That I needed to follow the lights. What we got here now? of a house. I think we're in town. What the? Could you not do that? Here. Get off my ass. You ran up and grabbed my ass. Another save. Doom fish. All right, nothing else here. All right, like that's it. This building, anyway. We did get to a town. Oh, my light was on. Holy shit! I thought, oh, my lights off. So dark. The fucking light was on the whole time. Wow, it really is dark as shit out here then. really seen much of any use any of this crap it just looks like a bunch of crap the late edition newsletter which is probably their version of a uh, newspaper right I mean I could sleep in the bed I don't really need to 
go. Was this like a hospital or something? Because there's multiple rooms with stuff in it like that. It kind of reminds me of like a like a clinic. Your Geiger counter doing cartwheels too. The hell's that? That's new. The lawnmower, some kind of a special lawnmower. That wasn't in your base game, I don't think. I don't. Yes, a vicious wolf. Well, it's not vicious anymore. Again, biting my ass. The legendary rabid wolf. A crippling pool cue. This is a piece of garbage. <laughs> Where did the wolf have it? Dare I ask where that wolf had that crippling pool cue? I mean, where could it possibly have been storing it? <laughs> I think we know. Yikes. That's it. Ugh, the fateful visit. When a wolf visited a pool hall and made one wrong move. <laughs> then it had a crippling pool cue stuck in it for, an <laughs> for how long? Oops. This used to be like a, like a sh uh, fishing shop, right? Probably still like tackle and stuff like that. Lures, bait, tours and gift shop, busted. Thing over here. Hello. Nothing there. There's probably just scenery. Like, you can't even actually go into these houses, right? They look pretty closed. Damn, there's a bunch of them, but I think they're all fake. Are these any, any of these real homes? Oh, God, look at this. There's a ton of shit out here. There's a ton of buildings out here. So I'm assuming this is where the people used to actually live on the island. But the whole thing got overrun when the fog hit it. See, so can't go in there. Oh, this one has a real door. This one is for real. Yeah, but it's fucking hollow, so what's the point? It's already hollowed out. Damn it! I'm not putting anything here. Yes, I play Fallout. We've been doing a, a very lengthy Fallout 4 playthrough, actually. I've been doing this for about 42 hours or something like that. 43 hours so far. Now we're in the Far Harbor DLC. Oh, we got assholes. Oh, what is he shooting? What is that? It's got a unique gun? Southwest Harbor. Okay, how do I get up there? Huh? Gotta find a way. Gotta find a way, yep. Gotta find a way. Oh, gotta find a way, yep. How do I go up? I don't know how to go up. Gotta find a way. <laughs> the music. But you know how. Get your ass up there now. A legendary ruthless trapper. Stabby. Side stab, head stab, neck stab, face stab. Damn, that's a lot of stabs. Shit. Time for you to stab. Can't attend a stab. Got a fucking stab. I don't know how to get up here. I'm walking around the entire giant building and I can't find a way up there. Other enemies over there. Yeah, I'm looking. Look, how the fuck do I get up there? R2 turret. Nick, do you see anything? I don't fucking see how to get up there at all. We, caught, we went around the entire building, I think. I don't see a ladder. And I don't see a stairwell. How the fuck do I get up there? Scrounging trapper, are you? Now you're dead like the rest. Now I thought, oh, maybe I just go upstairs, I'll find a way. No. Now there's nothing here. 
gotta watch your opponent, dude. Turn your back to him. Say goodbye. Sheesh. That suck. He's got a nice chair to sit in. <laughs> wow. Well. We slaughtered them, but I still don't know how to get up to that other area where the other guy was. There was a whole upper area to climb. The guy was shooting down at me, but I don't see a way to climb up. Yeah, see? How the hell do I get up there? I still don't see it. We went around the whole goddamn block. And I don't see a way up there. What the fuck, man? Where is it? You can't climb there. That's too high. You can't climb here. This is too high. How do they expect you to get up there to kill this guy? Oh my god, I see it. Wow, that's well hidden. I did not see that at all. Okay. Anything over here? Surprise! <laughs> Surprise, Decade! Alright, well... Oh, you... <laughs> Stupid fucking thing. Alright. Oh my god. Well, we killed a lot. I don't really think we got anything for it, right? Like, we cleared this whole town. What was it called? The town of Southwest Harbor. But I don't actually think we got anything for it. Like, there was no big reward for doing it. I didn't find anything good here. Just a bunch of annoying generic raiders raining down bullets on me. So, I think we'll leave now. The water is on fire? Whoa, that means there's fuel in the water. Is that the Vim factory right there? Yeah, I think so. I think that's the Vim Cola factory. So if we swim around this flaming thing... What is it? Is it an oil spill out of this ship? I think this ship crashed. And this is a flaming oil spill coming out of it. Damn. Yeah. Well, let's swim around it. This is the Vim Cola factory. I don't know if there's anything good in here. We check this out on our way to, uh... The other quest. Vim Pop Factory. They call it Pop here. That's correct. Some places they call soda pop rather than soda. A noise. Oh shit. I need to split the part. I thought I'm going to go over here and be safe and split the part. Nope. Two minutes. Save inside. All right. <clears throat> Dave. All right. Let's put the part. When I come back, I guess we'll check out the Vim factory and go I've from there. Cool. Wondered about mute.